you wouldn't expect them to be losing too much to shiny even if they are a very shiny team having so many polished players wow you've actually made that joke again yeah in pro <laughs> okay wow. dps all right not bad he's found himself a couple of kills while fading away off the back of the it's just gonna have to be a full retake coming in from og oh here's the flash over right away a very fast push to the site now you're gonna see the flurry of frags on the defending side, leaving Alberto all by himself. A lot to do. He's revealed nice headshot to start with, but hey, a little, a little bit too. It's called fragment. Uh, yep. Yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. He's thrown <laughs> in his fragment, but I think we all just say nades. Oh, look, he's naded the whole way. Or the frag. Unlucky. Call it the frag. <laughs> well, obviously it's a pulse grenade, so it's not tech. It's not actually a frag. So, you know, no. I suppose technically, though, the same thing. I've never called Rays as one of Frag either because it's a cluster bomb. I don't think you've called it that either, though. Nonetheless, no. it's actually gone fairly well for Shiny. They've got themselves onto the site, looking at an afterplant situation. This time, they're not going to have all their abilities taken away from them either, which is going to make things potentially that little bit easier for them. Vic leading the charge and already manages to get around the corner. No problems at all. And Lift has to try and hold on, but he's quickly got two kills. The classic in hand, a single right click should be enough to win him the round and the spike now ticking all the way down he should have this anyway and dps well it doesn't get them anything and no scope connected they've lost a player man advantage now swings to the opponents that are better armed and rallying towards this site dps oh, no. just let one pass oh this could be absolutely huge what Pick, picking them up as they emerge from the smoke spike down in the open and an almost unwinnable scenario uh -oh. now at shiny's feet I think they expect Destrian to be here, already going to face in, and I imagine now I'm just going to try and lock down the back lines, not allow any such rotations for Arca. I had a lockdown. Get it. Aha! Yeah, he's four points off that, so no real chance, but Destrian is going to be there to... But you're going to see them take over the A site with two, oddly enough. Uh, the run... Tom, the running back alongside the lockdown seems to be a very peculiar, and by that I mean terrible choice. I oh, use three ults. ults. But you're not going to get anything for the running back. You know they're running away. Yeah. Now you would use the and, running and back the to And the would have tagged someone anyway. That, that, that that's just silly. That was. Peculiar. Can we make it four? Let's go for four ults. Oh yeah, chuck them all in. We got another ult. <laughs> and he still got <laughs> the same. <laughs> No, he's just stuck in mid. This has all gone wrong for Shiny. He is going to have a, a late flank at least coming through. Magni, they're already defusing. He needs to try and get in on the spike. They probably don't know where Omen's going to be, so that's at least one kill. He somehow's got the second. The no. time's too far gone. No, no. Maybe even run through it. Try and find some extra space for the team. you got Magni lurking behind. Already giving them a pretty strong hold in this round. Now... We do have, as mentioned, a couple of ultimates still online. From the shadows might just be used to try and give them some way to flank back in. In fact, DPS, he's just going to swing straight onto Alberto. Had teammates behind, and you know what? He's done a fantastic job there. Two players taken down, two remaining for OG. This might just have to be a save. The long rotate from Magni hasn't exactly paid off. Like Rushed in on. Yeah, thanks, Cal. But there, the crunch is on. <laughs> Look at Destrian Ooh, go! All right. right through main after the spam found nothing earlier, but it might not be enough, Tom. They're still on the back foot. Yeah, the finding two continues to battle, and right, it left some isolated jewels once again for Shiny to try and capitalize on. They haven't managed to get to the site just yet, and I do wonder if this is being played for the retake so we can see that null actually put into play. Here's the run it back being used up and destroyed oh. very, very quickly indeed. Ult returned here. KO popping it in. Fick got a kill on backside. There's one more player back there in the flash. Perfectly thrown to blind them up. Lift has to do it all. Be suppressed and can't use any abilities. And the aim just... It's looking like a much faster take. Instant smokes a dash in and call with a flash in hand. Again, a wonderful combo. Magni... Going alongside his teammates Hunter's Fury. Now they've got a pretty fast flank here. Two players already in behind. But instead, it looks like XA is actually just trying to control CT instead and make sure that nobody can actually push forward. And he's done just that. Yeah, they found the Lone Ranger on that one. Easy duel for XA. 
And although they committed the TP to go up behind in main, now the surprise factor is definitely gone. OG having their 3v4 retake to get back in on. Now, they successfully retook in the previous round. It started out with Vic getting a pick, and this time, Shiny are not allowing that to happen. They're playing much more passive on the site and lined up ready to trade. That is a perfect counter to the off play of Vic and the rest of it. What we've seen so far, the answer is a resounding no. Yeah, most definitely. As an element was such an amazing player. Strange to see him go. Magni's caught Vic trying to get a little bit aggressive on A to start this round out, and OG around that they so desperately need. They're facing into another run it back. That's charging in towards this B side. X, he seems to be farming those ultimates like there's no tomorrow. Trex, big play. This is when it was needed, and Destrian still being alive. His aim has been on point so far. And he's not there in time to catch lift. This faded away. Destrian going to drag him down to incredibly low HP. He basically has to find the kills here. And although they line up, it's awful lot of control. I don't believe they've taken away anybody's abilities there. Both players actually sat towards the boathouse, the back of sight. But they do not last long at all. Again, DPS kicking things off in the pistols. Been pretty strong in those at least. And now the remaining players looking to try and wrap back in, but it's not looking like they're gonna be getting past too many of these angles are quick. They wanna be they wanna be at least doing a little bit of damage with these weapons. Waiting on the site. Arcadix takes down Vic, swings into heavy traffic though. So many players waiting for him and taking him down. Unko gets a bit over eager up inside his own smoke and how has XA gotten on the side? He's just allowed to waltz on in, take a free, not even kill, execution. Great flash by Trex. Oh my oh! god! All three go as- I the fact that they are consistently being suppressed and caught out by so much of this utility. Again, we're going to see the majority of the players on their side just not be able to use any of their abilities and Trex just trying to find corners that he can basically sit in and just make sure they can't do anything. Spike planted. Getting back in is going to be tough now. You know, when OG have this much control, Hunter's Fury and Lockdown to play around, you better have something planned in that drop down. It's going to be caught out, spotted by Tvik, but he doesn't get anything for his trouble. Hunter's Fury, oh, that's a good connection. Catching the Phoenix coming out of his ult, but not finishing him off. The weapons are still there for Shiny to use. A player even getting detained as Arcadix now is out of the fight for a little while. They try to make some presence up in heaven door not being pressured at this moment but the players push back in main now allow them to isolate this player underneath good flash no it's not it's not even close to a good fight how is he not blind full by up and i saw an odin in play as well towards that b site but a very passive a hold tom and without playing a sentinel on the side as well that is incredibly strange I guess they're just trying to avoid losing all of their abilities in fact it might have just worked out xa I could have sworn he would get two there. That flash was almost perfect. This time actually blinding his opposition as well. Now they're actually going to battle again for tree control. Lift has to be careful. They're trying to play this in a bit of a crossfire on both sides. Three players now looking to try and make the push through. Flash from Trex might just be perfect. They're going to have to try and avoid it. And in fact... One just looks straight into the face of the flash. Buying some extra time, but Unko is still around this corner. Lift takes down his opponent Omen, and it's left all on to Twig. Surely he can't find all three. And this time, it's too much to ask. A fantastic retake by Shiny. He should know the possibility of a player actually coming through with the spam. Instead, it's actually going to be the push straight up mid from Trax. No utility used in Magni. Hey, he'll take that kill all day long. About as free as can be. Magni onto Vic again. And it, he's going through the smoke. He hasn't got dash to play with, but he believes okay. in himself. And sometimes okay. that's all you need. Absolutely nothing. And Magni, I don't know if this spot would have been actually spotted at all, but he misses. Just walk out there into the open. Oh. They could time it well, and indeed they Perfect. do. Perfect. Gorgeous stuff. And the cloud burst guarantees no one else pushes up. DPS has a flank. Oh, it's all falling into place for OG. Beautiful round. God, this was so much better than a lot of the rounds we've seen just prior, where they're basically working in tandem. Individually, they're definitely sound. It's just, I feel like a lot of the calls, a lot of the team play, sometimes goes a bit of a miss. Yeah, but that all comes with experience as well, right? Like, you, for sure. you can accept uh, the trouble if Vic decides to go out for a wide swing, which indeed he does, spotting them falling onto the site. There's the Hunter's Fury. 
Oh, it's actually played Vic on that. He just gets confused as Alberto drops dead in front of him and doesn't dash out of there. Even still, though, Shiny are getting destroyed. The one kill they got on to, v to Vic quickly I fell in. Oh, 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 lift. The timing. He goes completely past the drone. They think market's clear. This could be massive. Paranoia used in towards main, though, kind of gives him away. Yeah, I think as well, the fact that the last three players are on the site, it doesn't really matter where he comes from. Yeah. We're already going to see one player suppressed. No more abilities used. No flashes. That's actually huge. He can't flash back into the site. And, and now we're going to see the null popped as well, making sure that there's absolutely nothing for them to try and get onto these corners. Flash past some pretty solid teams with their old roster. So I, I would expect them to win this one. Trex already in prime position. He wasn't getting any heals off that. Once you get hit while you're healing, it, it pauses for a second. Oh, he must have taken a single bullet, mm -hmm. I think, because he was he was on 73. That is a little bit cursed. And he's not going to find anything extra because of it. But even still, this has ended up in a, a two versus two situation. Unko already dropping it down to one, but there isn't a heal remaining. So it is still going to be a good possibility here for Lyft. Who switched completely up. He was previously playing the Omen. I really like this crossfire, though. Five seconds away from heal as well. He's going to get this plant down. One more ult or very HP. valuable indeed. And now it's time to heal on up once that reload's gone through. His opponent being so low from that duel they've had, he now has a huge advantage if he lets this heal go to completion. In fact, he just knows what's going on. A full classic round coming through for the side of OG. Tvik already being isolated, spotted out by the dart. And well, realistically now, I think even a kill would be beneficial for OG if they can get it. Oh, there we go. Destrian able to pick up the first. Let's see if they can get a little bit more because there's an isolated player towards the spawn. Magni in a lot of trouble. And now Trex is going to be healed up to close to 150. 122. They can take a lot of damage. Well, I mean, that, that wall doesn't help things. <laughs> Luckily, that heals on back up. Alberto swings out to break the wall, but loses his life in the process. All of a sudden, around where we said, if oh, they can get one kill, that'd be great. They've got a man advantage, and in fact, they wipe the entirety of... Well, that's a bit more of a shot. Now, this is going to be a very aggressive push, a challenge, a fight for a control. And Destiny actually comes out with two there. That was looking like a negative trade from the get-go, but well, two for two is not too bad. Hold on to his position. This could be so valuable in terms of having a flank. He knows roughly the plant position as well. All the information he needs for his teammates. I don't think they're going to be expecting someone to sneak around from behind so quickly. And the timing could be absolutely perfect. Peak straight in already. A first kill to his name. A second as well for Unko. Leaving just one man standing. And well, eventually it's DPS to come in with the trade. He played that perfectly. Yeah. Uh, Unko is... Oh. Some interesting purchases coming up here, Mitch, with a, a judge in play. Oh, look at this little angle we get. I like it. We're, we're inside the Viper's Pit. We're outside. Oh, we're inside it again. And look who else is in. Exy moving up on top of pipes and getting sh** to deal the damage. But that Viper's Pit causes a problem. He gets... Oh, no! Oh, no! Gets in the pit and misses the shot. Now down to just one HP. Somehow still alive. Good for a double. He's collided them with a classic. What is this? It's a 1v1 and Magni's all alone. Somehow his teammates have fallen all around him. And DPS sneaks into the no open way. to claim the final kill. Players shooting in his direction. And somehow he dodges every bullet. And then right clicks two people with one shot. It's like... This weapon is too strong. <laughs> it's just too strong. And we've seen that so many times now, Tom, in the oh, last no. week. It's, it's happening all the time, these double kills or collaterals. Wait, Hugo right did it <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, it, it's been... Uh, my eyes have been opened that the right click of the classic is still ridiculously strong. Like, it's actually got to the point where in pistol rounds, I will no longer bother buying a pistol because there's just no point. Like, the best pistol is the standard pistol. I'm telling you now. This, though, is starting to go a little bit better. Again, a strong position for the side of OG dwindles with their aggression, but then even more aggression ends up bringing it back further. As Destrian, again, he's so impactful in so many of these rounds. 
leaves it onto Xe. Not much of a chance, and especially now with Trek. Tries to bite uh -oh. someone next World Cup. Uh that probably is a safe one. Nice shot from Magni. That will give them the opener they need. Can they get anything more from it? They can. Xe as well. Picking up another. The wall would deny them space for just a second, but Vic's actually taken down too. His operator looking much stronger on this map. And Destrian looking to try and hold below. Deny them the space to actually get the plant while the rotation comes in for his teammate. This is now all, well, I was going to say three players, but make it two because XA is taking it into his own hands. Left on Tedestrian, one versus two. And an opportunity here for him. No chance of a res coming through either. Tedestrian is going to be in a lot of trouble gotten revealed up but it doesn't really do much for them at this stage oh in fact the shock dart attempt nearly puts them down another man now just tucked in the crossfire on sight is way too strong and i think with time becoming such a heavy constraint and no wall to play with Destrin is probably going to just go for the save oh in fact still poking out and trying to catch a few players like he actually pushes through his own teammate's snake bite to try and find that kill so the plant was already denied Again, though, it is just all in all firefights. It's going to be Trex to find the first, but it's a quick trade. The control now found by Shiny. The weaker weapons that are in play. Magni, he's right next to you. You know he's there. He is spamming the wall with his gun. <laughs> I ends up getting two. Maybe being a little bit more patient to make sure he gets the double, but it definitely looked like there was a bit of a surprise, some shock on his face. DPS also being forced out of angles. Perfectly played. We have seen plenty of massive comebacks. Maybe Shiny have got it in them, but well, they don't have Axie for this round, at least. And the Hunter's Fury doesn't catch Trex. What does? The bullets from Magni lift, following up onto DPS and putting OG once more on the back foot. Oh, Twig, still got the Blade Storm in play. I think they might just opt to fall away from this one, but if they do, Rez could be popped, weaponry could be found. This round could basically turn on its head, and Alberto needs to do something, but that's exactly what happens. The swing out grants him two kills, gets the third as well, denying all of the weaponry at times. Twig, though, Operator still in play, and we've seen him put up some pretty decent numbers so far. He's gonna get pressured by Magni. A solo play, which again gives the opener to OG. Shiny don't really have the choice to go back, but Trax, he's been caught on these flanks a couple of times so far. This time, he stepped all the way up. Arkadix has his finger on the trigger, no. but the shot doesn't hit. Trax able to take him down, now opens up a huge flank with a second player being Unko close by with a judge in hand. This is going to be a disgusting way for Lyft to die you if he walks forward. Rat. Indeed he will. And down he goes. The judge still doing work and he doesn't even swap no! it out. That's exactly why damage done and Trex finishes him off. It is out. Anyways. They miss their updraft. That's, that's a... Uh... Not ideal. Let's say that. Oh, God. It's just they just worked out perfectly because Twix is just a secret what? agent in here. Magni thought there was no one around. I don't know what planet he's living on. He's even peeking his teammates. This guy is uh, having a field day. They got it half. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but they want to try and at least do some damage here and not give any sort of springboard over to Shiny in the second half. Two players have been spotted on this left side, and they ain't gonna get away with oh, a whole no. lot. Completely mowed down. After being spotted by the drone, there was just no reaction. Lift. Oh, okay. Hello. Quick little double, and although DPS deals with them, this is now doable. Shiny need a hero in this round. Yet again, they're searching. Magni failed to get anything done. Breaking the wall for his teammate. Arkadix has a fight up close, and he wins it. With Unko down. I mean, the HP is just so low, though. That's the problem. Like, I want to say it's doable, but it's just so easy to take these players out, especially now in a 2v1. Arkadix will force the ball. Oh, he, he actually didn't force him out of the corner, but Twig didn't know that. <laughs> so he jumps out anticipating that that was going to be a landed snake fight. Arkadix, good try. Good try. 
We'll give him that. Say, well, this is a best of five, right, guys? Best of five? I'll say, uh, first time <laughs> I've ever seen uh, someone actually AFK in, in a round. I know he's DC'd, but uh, they're, they're playing it out. They're going for it. Fair play, Shiny. Let's see what you got. Nothing. You're dead. This is where you type AFK and oh. spawn and no one believes you, because... <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like in a competitive match, no one will ever believe yeah. that. They saw, they're they actually, saw they're him disconnect, actually, though, They're trusting people. They're trusting people. Chat, oh. right? And you can see it in the scoreboard that he's DC'd when, when they do. Don't worry. It was it was a, a tactical disconnect. Magnes are going to ace this round now. <laughs> oh, okay, fair. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, we go down the pub on the weekend. Uh, you, Magni, Carcass, you just got a thing for jet players, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, only the best players are the jet players. Sure, sure. That's why you don't play her, I guess. Shiny! Yep. Oh, I thought they were about to be caught off guard there, but it ends up in a trade. Destrian's been so strong, though. I still have faith in him, even in the 1v3. The first goes his way, the res comes in, ready to swing out and trade. Oh god, it's so good. Double one res. Two for Trex on the board. He's all the first one. What? Use your left click, man. Did he disconnect?